So we just spotted a giant field of one of my favorite mushrooms of all time. We just had to pull over and do a video about it. There's a lot of cool facts about this mushroom and I think you're gonna love it. The mushroom is Caprinus comatus, also known as the shaggy mane. And you can see why it gets that name, right? It has this long cylindrical appearance and it has a shaggy look. It's also sometimes called the lawyer's wig and also you can kind of see why it has that name because well, kind of looks like a lawyer's wig. So shaggy manes are a relatively common mushroom and they grow on lawns or fields or grasses, basically anywhere that has a really nitrogen rich environment. And they'll often fruit in big groups, although something like this is really out of the ordinary. I've never seen such a giant field of shaggy mane. But if you are looking for shaggy mane, this is typically where you'd look in grasses and fields and lawns, but just make sure that you don't confuse it with another mushroom species that might be potentially poisonous. The one that I can think of off the top of my head is Chlorophyllum molybdates, aka the vomiter. That mushroom can make you really sick and is kind of superficially similar in appearance as the shaggy mane and it also grows in the same location. So as always with any mushroom hunting, just make sure you're 1000% sure that you know what the species is, especially if you're planning to eat it. Shaggy mane is in fact a gourmet edible mushroom, if you can find it. You're very unlikely to find this at the grocery store or even at the farmer's market because it has a self-destruct mechanism where shortly after you harvest it, it will turn into a pile of black inky goo. So really the only way you can get shaggy mane is if you find it in the wild or if you grow it yourself. Whoa, look at this one. That is definitely the biggest of the bunch and maybe one that I might wanna take home. Cause remember, shaggy mane is a gourmet edible mushroom and it's one that is often sought by foragers to take home and enjoy. But there's always been this misconception that shaggy mane should never be enjoyed with alcohol. So for example, you wouldn't wanna cook up a bunch of these and enjoy a glass of wine. And the reason why that was thought to be was because of shaggy mane containing coprine. Coprine is a compound that causes kind of an instant hangover when mixed with alcohol. And in fact, it has been commercialized for the use of treating alcoholism so that if people drink alcohol they'll get kind of this instant hangover and they will try to avoid drinking alcohol but the fruiting body of shaggy mane or caprinus comatus does not actually contain coprine instead it's found in a close cousin of this mushroom known as the common inky cap or coprinopsis atramentarius so although you still might want to have some caution around drinking alcohol and eating shaggy mane it's probably nothing to worry about if you cut one of these mushrooms in half and you look at the gills you'll notice that they're packed together insanely tight. And thinking that the gills are the structure that releases the mushroom spores, it'd be pretty difficult for this mushroom to release its spores out into the air and propagate the species. But it's found a really sneaky way around this, and this is again through this self-destruct mechanism that the mushroom has. If you look at something like this mushroom, this is a shaggy mane that is on its way to self-destructing, and right around the edge of the mushroom, it will start to decay. And that lets the mushroom cap open up and lets those gills spread out and allows those spores to release from the mushroom cap. And eventually it will continue to do that process until it looks like something like this and the spores drip down into a goo, get dispersed around the mushroom to grow insanely big fields like this, but also allows the spores to go through the air. So shaggy manes, like lots of other mushrooms that grow on lawns, will sometimes grow in fairy rings. And you can see this one here is starting to form a big ring or a big circle. And you can imagine the mycelium that's underground is forming this network and moving out in a circle and right at the leading edge of that mycelium is where all the mushrooms are fruiting. So mushrooms like all living organisms will have to compete with resources and what I thought was really cool about this one is you can see all the caprinus comatus and the shaggy mane almost forming like a front line versus an agaricus species which is obviously fruiting really heavily here and right in the middle is the battleground between the caprinus and the agaricus. So remember, if you are harvesting shaggy manes, you really don't need to take more than a meal or two's worth because once you get them home, they're gonna quickly turn into this black goo, like you see all these mushrooms around here, just kind of self-destruct. But these ones, I'm not gonna take home because it's kind of by the side of the road and I don't really know if this area's been sprayed or what might be going on. But I am gonna take one home and clone it and try to cultivate it. So that will be another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tony from Fresh Cap and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.